Good evening, everybody. Uh, I will consider the structural red connectome in a generic and uh, in a generic and um, platform uh, independent open framework called NeuroVisas, and the system allows you to uh, import different types of image stacks, for example, MRI images, histological images, or these atlas images, and then outline regions in these images and assign them to a user-defined ontology in uh, this approach. Uh, using these um, outlines, it's very easy to visualize uh, and compute surfaces in 3D. For example, uh, for, all, um, pre, uh, uh, for all regions in the uh, red, uh, stereotactic atlas of um, Paxinos in an explosion view. Um, a further important data type or data modality are connections in between these regions. And um, these uh, connections are organized in a uh, very deep hierarchy or ontology of up to 20 subdivisions of regions. And for this, we have developed um, uh, filtering mechanism in order to navigate through this uh, very huge uh, hierarchy with thousands of regions. Uh, here's just a uh, uh, small selection of uh, some uh, significant regions of the left, left and right hemisphere and of left body side organs and right body side organs. And as everybody can see, the density of connectivity in uh, central regions is quite large, but there exist also a significant number of connections from uh, central regions to the periphery and from the peripheral organs to uh, central regions. This, uh, the density of connections are in, uh, described in track tracing in the track tracing literature, in most cases uh, by semi-quantitative values, which are color coded um, here. Um, so far, we have uh, collated data from over 5,000 track tracing publications of the red, uh, or which were applied to the who red organism, and uh, 250,000 connections per hemisphere uh, are included in the red connectome. And the region which has the most outputs and inputs is the lateral hypothalamus. Most connections have been described within hierarchy or subdivision level uh, 12, but there exists also a significant amount of connections which were described in between uh, different uh, subdivision levels. Um, recently, we uh, introduced a new type of connection uh, called collateral connection. These are branches of axons and, and the largest uh, frequency of these uh, collaterals are uh, collaterals um, with uh, two branches. But uh, we found also uh, a collateralization of up to 17 axonal branches uh, in a particular type of neurons in the ventral medial nucleus of the thalamus described by Kuramoto. And uh, these collaterals, um, are, or data of these collaterals, are uh, available for uh, ipsilateral and contralateral connections. Um, here, I'd like to show you an adjacency matrix which consists only of connections which are described in terms of collaterality. And I would like to draw your attention to this stripe over here, which belongs to um, a higher density of collaterals from the prefrontal cortex. And to this stripe here, uh, this is from the secondary visual area, lateral part. There's also a significant amount of such collaterals. So the next new type of um, connectivity data are polysynaptic pathways, and these polysynaptic pathways are in most cases uh, investigated by applying pseudorabies virus injections, and in most cases in the peripheral nervous system. Um, we found um, uh, uh, 1,200 uh, paths which have a path length of three. That means that they connect three neurons by two synapses. But uh, 
there's also uh, there are also some um, pathways which are uh, quite longer, for example, described by Levinthal after applying pseudo rabies uh, into the kidney to uh, investigate the connectivity, the efferent connectivity of the kidney to the uh, central nervous system. And again, here is the adjacency matrix of all these components of pathways uh, the, and um, in the hypothalamus. Um, the density of these uh, pathway, uh, polysynaptic pathway components is especially larger, but in the cerebral cortex there exist not so many data, but in the cerebellum and spinal cord uh, pathway connections are also uh, larger. And in the next uh, slide I would like to draw your attention to this ipsilateral part of the adjacency matrix, this uh, bilateral connection matrix in order to show that there exists also uh, some information of uh, polysynaptic pathway connections from the peripheral organs to the spinal cord and from the spinal cord to further um, central regions. Um, we intend to use these uh, connectome data to define uh, uh, simulation, simulations of populations in the central nervous system and for this we need also some uh, new physiological data, and we have um, imported the neuroelectro database and assigned each neuron in this database to the connectome region. What we need also for a simulation are estimates of the total number of neurons in all uh, regions of the forebrain, and this is realized in an ongoing study. Um, we are uh, segmenting and classifying all types of cells in virtual slides. For example, here is a, a motor cortex and the caudate putamen. Uh, having all this uh, raw data, it is possible to define a um, really um, realistic uh, simulation uh, for this. Okay, for this we have uh, in graphical user interface to the simulation engine Nest. And we are using our raw data to can, uh, for the, uh, defining um, a PyNest uh, simulation script, which is transferred to the simulation engine Nest. And the following, I show you uh, such a um, uh, result of the simulation, where a spike injection of over five milliseconds uh, was applied to the primary motor cortex uh, in the bilateral basal ganglia system. Here's the spike injection. And what you see here is the original connectome of these regions uh, of the basal ganglia and uh, the mean population activity, which is propagating from uh, the left hemisphere to the right hemisphere in the leaky integrated and fire neuron model with 80% excitatory and 20% inhibitor neurons. neurons. Uh, in the future, or oh, this is also a um, project which has already started, uh, we are segmenting the complete musculoskeletal system in a huge cryosection data set of uh, the red in order uh, to control this musculoskeletal system by a, a realistic um, simulation of uh, neurons in the central nervous system. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention.